Hey, what's going on guys? It is Monday. It is currently 9.50 a.m. And if you watched my most recent video, you know that means the first lecture just ended. To be honest, last week was so rough. There were so many small group requirements. There were so many meetings. And adding on to that, the material was actually difficult. Um, so this week is supposed to be a little bit of a lighter week. So I'm happy about that. But I'm glad to be back vlogging. Welcome back to another week in the live vlog. And... <sighs> It's just a breath of fresh air and it's weird because I am actually pretty behind on certain things So I'm not as caught up as I would want to be but I'm okay with that I'm kind of at peace with that because I feel like I'm okay. I'm doing okay So what you guys saw earlier was basically um, an SNMA meeting over um, maternal morbidity. You are probably also hearing right now my breakfast sizzling right now. And you might also hear my Roomba because it's rolling around right now. <laughs> um, picking up some of Dolly's hairs. That today is going to be a day of catch up from the craziness that happened last week. So that is what today is mostly going to be getting those Anki cards done from a lot of last week's lectures and making sure I understand the material. So that meeting with my SNMA group was from 12 to one and that's around the time that I cook and make lunch. Um, so that's why I needed something really quick like the eggs because they don't take much time and I can watch the meeting while making the eggs. Um, but after eating those eggs, I'm going to have to start working on my peer teaching slides for the anatomy structures for tomorrow. So I do have to get started on that before I get super deep into studying today. Alright, so that took way longer than I wanted it to, but it's about 5.56 and I am done. I had to do a lot of the cranial nerves and part of me being like too thorough with this is I learn from being thorough with it. So, I mean, I'm learning while, oops, see I spelled trapezius wrong in there. I learn while doing the most, I guess. So, I do the most on these slides. <laughs> So tonight during my break, I actually decided to kind of meal prep a shrimp taco meal. Um, I used this shrimp later this week for different things, but for tonight I used it for taco mix actually. After mixing in all the seasoning on the shrimp, I have them seared. Now I'm chopping up all the ingredients needed for the taco sauce that I'm making, or I guess you could say creamy cilantro sauce. And um, I have some jalapeno and cilantro, lime juice, and sour cream in that. And I also have kind of a veggie mix for the taco with red cabbage and green cabbage. I mix in the creamy cilantro sauce with the cabbage mix just to give it some more consistency and put the flavor more throughout the taco. And voila. So it is about 7.40 a.m. Tuesday morning and we actually probably have the most to do today out of this whole week. So I decided to go to the library with my friend Cam and we are going to try to knock out the four lectures and anatomy that we have today. But then again, it'll also be nice to kind of bounce ideas off of other students or have someone to reference um, as we're going through lecture. That is something I do not have at home. It's usually just me and Google or me and my textbook. So I don't know if you guys saw it yesterday, but new coffee maker because the last one broke. So we just finished three lectures and one of them was over pharyngeal arches and let me just tell you There is a lot to learn with pharyngeal arches. I mean, so if you don't know anatomy of cranial nerves or anatomy of um, Arteries or muscles and anywhere that has to do with kind of neck up to the head like anything around there 
if you're not super sure about it, it's really a struggle. If you don't know that first, it's a struggle because pharyngeal arches give rise to all of those and you have to memorize where each of those structures come from in the arches and there's grooves and clefts and pouches of those pharyngeal arches that also give rise to other structures. So it's kind of like an inception of if you don't know the structure in the adult, it's hard for you to learn what those embryonic structures give rise to. And so it's just a lot of moving parts and a lot going on and it's already hard to learn the adult structures let alone knowing where those adult structures come from so got lots to do today but like i said today is the more busy like kind of one of the worst days so i'm at peace knowing that today for lunch we got a sandwich a cookie and some chips from the school cafe after getting back home at 7 p.m., the day wasn't done. I had more studying to do. I know myself fairly well, and I know if I get home and don't go straight to the desk, I will not be doing much for the night. So I go straight to studying right when I get home. Fun fact, I actually really love how it looks when cream goes into coffee. It's one of my favorite visual effects. I don't know why. All right, it is 8.50 and it is Wednesday. You guys probably saw me do my morning coffee and I was honestly too groggy to even talk or open my mouth because I stayed up kind of late yesterday trying to catch up from what, that mess that happened last week. And honestly, I'm not fully caught up yet. So today is a blessing because we only have two doctoring lectures and at 11, I am literally free because we don't have anatomy lab until tomorrow. So I will be working on my clinical correlates for that anatomy, but besides that, I really can just catch up today. So even though I'm not caught up fully, today is a good catch up day and I should be okay by the end of the day. I keep telling myself, today is not a free day, it's catch up day. So hopefully I get there. My friends keep telling me I'm not behind. Everyone keeps telling me I'm not behind. I still feel behind. And I think it's just because of the type of person I am. Um, but the first lecture we had, was over uh, effective science-based team building and effective leadership in the healthcare field. And that's something we'll probably hear a lot because healthcare providers work in a team. It's not just doctors, it's nurses, PAs, PTs, you have chiropractors, you even have people that aren't super related to healthcare like social workers, lawyers. Um, so working in a team is super important. So I thought that was a pretty cool lecture, but other than that, I do have an epidemiology lecture. So I have that and the day is free for me to catch up. So, and that starts in a few minutes, so gotta go. It is currently 5.25 p.m. I've gotten quite a bit done. I got 241 Anki cards done, and I have a good amount to go left, about 68 of them. However, I do have more new ones that I want to add, so technically I do have more, but I've gotten a good amount done for it only being 5.25. And um, before that, however, me and my friend Brooke talked through cranial nerves, but before that, I did work on some more anatomy, and I haven't worked on my clinical correlates yet, which I'm gonna regret if I do too late. So I do need to get a few more things done. Here, I'll show you my planner. So, I wanted to do some pharyngeal arches, just like, just look over it, because I have pharyngeal arch two, like the second part of the lecture tomorrow, and I really don't want to go into it not knowing what the first part was about. And um, I need to do clinical correlate prep. I need to add the two neuro lectures to Anki, which aren't that long, but I do need to add that. I do want to add, um, I added most of acid base already, but I need to add uh, the second half. And I already reviewed cranial nerves, so I can, look at that, I can check something off today. Look at that, wow. I already reviewed cranial nerves, and I still have, as far as Anki, those 68 left, plus these guys. So um, I guess in summary, we have pharyngeal arches, clinical correlates, and Anki to do for the rest of the day. is around 7 a.m. Thursday morning and I am pretty tired. I stayed up to about 10.30 like I normally do last night, um, but I think because I was pushing 
for such a productive day and I was trying to get a lot done and get caught up. Uh, I didn't give myself as many breaks as I wanted to yesterday, so I'm kind of tired. I, I do think I am pretty much caught up now, which is nice, um, but at the expense of being dead tired right now. So I definitely need some coffee, and I'm gonna probably have some espresso, because I got a new espresso machine. finished about 500 cards in daytime so excited about that still got more to do all right this is an example of when it's super hard for me to for me to stop so it is 11 p.m and i have 16 minutes of this video left this means it should take about like 20 minutes and usually i will force myself off of it because it's 11 and it means it's time to go to sleep. And this is probably a flaw of mine, but I'm not super strict about that all the time. And so times like now where I'm not that tired and tomorrow's Friday and I know this weekend I would rather spend the 16 minutes doing it now than tomorrow, I will put the 16 minutes to tonight. So um, I am gonna continue uh, just because I weighed out my options and thought the 16 minutes might be better placed now. So, probably not the most healthy approach, but it's what's worked for me. <laughs> Just finished Friday's TBL and it was pretty cool. It was over myasthenia gravis, which is basically a disorder of your postsynaptic plate. It's basically a disorder where your nicotinic receptors on your postsynaptic plate are getting destroyed. And I guess in layman terms, um, it's basically where your nerves aren't able to effectively communicate with one another, leading to often muscle weakness um, and we actually earlier in the week talked to a patient who had myasthenia gravis and learned about their story. Um, so that's pretty cool to tie in everything. The next thing I have to do is actually in one minute, it is a quick problem question based solving class where we will go over different types of effects of different molecules like TTX and TEA. Lots of fancy science words that you guys probably don't care about and I have to go. See you there. All right, this is the two slides at the end of the lecture, and it's like packed, but there was so much productivity in just two slides in 50 minutes, so it was a good session, I'd say. Okay, guys, it is about 6.37 p.m., and I think that calls for the end of my study day. Um, this week, as you can see, was um, a pretty typical week, um, but there was lots of catching up. Um, I actually am going to Anatomy Lab next week to do dissection of the pharynx, so I'm pretty excited about that. But other than that, it was a pretty normal week. But thank you guys for being a part of it. Thank you so much for your kind words over these past few weeks. It really has been helpful in lifting up my spirits and keeping me motivated. And I hope you guys are doing great. But until then, I will see all of you on the very next MedHead.